Hey everybody, I'm fairly satisfied with how I have uh, my Helm set up and I thought I'd it's share it with you all. It's simply a tablet that runs uh, Navionics and uh, I like this because it gives me a different view from the Garmin charts that I use as well, showing depth and you can set different contours and things like that. So I glance between the two when underway. The uh, Garmin is a NEMA 2000 device and I have this set up to get information from a variety of different sources. It gets information from the engine, from the Raymarine, and also from the uh, AIS that I have set up with the standard Horizon uh, GX2200. And also I have gauges here that will show me my tank levels. So these are the two fuel tanks and these are the water tanks. It's always been a frustration having to go down below and holler back and forth is the water tank full or not and how much do we have in it. So this shows directly uh, on the screen here what the fuel and water tank levels are. I also have in gauges here uh, engine data so I can see the level of the tank that I'm running from, the fuel flow rate, the speed, RPMs, voltage, uh, temperature, boost pressure, etc. Okay, and uh, of course we also have radar, which I'm sure you're already familiar with. So, back on this here, we can set this up to see whatever we want and uh, when underway, I like to be able to see what's my fuel consumption rate and the uh, uh, engine RPM at the same time. Okay, uh, this is the autopilot, so set up for steering in the usual way, that I'm sure you're already familiar with. And uh, this is for uh, underway and sailing, and I have it set up. You can do it many different ways, but I want to know what the depth is and what the apparent wind angle and speed is. So that's it up here as well. So let me show you behind the scenes how this is all put together. And I'll try and do this in a logical way. Okay. So this is the uh, back of the Garmin unit. And this cable is Ethernet that goes to the radar. Okay. This is the uh, power cable that powers the entire unit. And it also is the NEMA 0183 which supplies the AIS information. It's AIS receiving not AIS transmitting. And this is simply the cable that goes to the NEMA 2000 backbone. This over here is the NEMA 2000 backbone and I got a device that just has four ports on it so it's very neat and complete. So this goes to the Garmin this goes to the Yamaha engine, and this is simply an adapter cable that goes from Yamaha to NEMA 2000. This connects into the Raymarine uh, backbone, which Raymarine calls CTOC. The only difference between CTOC and NEMA 2000 is the pin configuration, so it's just an adapter cable that goes from the CTOC backbone <coughs> over to the NEMA 2000. It's just an adapter cable. And this last one here is the uh, Albi Combo. This device allows the connection of analog inputs. So I have the usual standard $50 or $60 analog gauges connected up to this device, which changes it into NEMA 2000. And it is powered from the uh, uh, from the uh, NEMA backbone as well. Okay, and uh, this gizmo is a connector from the uh, very old and pretty reliable Raymarine devices. So the wind sensor, the speed paddle wheel, and also the depth sensor. They're simply wired in here and then they come out and connect to the two gauges. So here are the two gauges, right? And this then, this cable here, connects over to the Raymarine backbone. The Raymarine backbone also connects into the NEMA 2000 backbone. And 
that's it. It's not that complicated. Almost everything works. Uh, there's a couple of quirks, of course, but uh, all in all, I'm pretty satisfied with, uh, with the whole thing. It looks pretty good, I think. So I'll follow this up with a video of the wiring diagram for everything so you can make sense of that as well. All right, this is a sketch that I made of how everything is wired up. So I'll start at the top here. I have uh, three of the old sensors from the Raymarine equipment that came with the boat. Uh, some of this stuff is really, really old, but it's still functioning. So this is the depth and temp uh, sensor. This is the speed paddle wheel, and these are the uh, Windex instruments that are at the top of the mast. They're all connected with regular analog cables into something that Raymarine calls their ITC-5. The ITC-5 takes the old analog inputs and puts it onto uh, what Raymarine calls their CTOC network. CTOC network. But in fact, it's just a NEMA 2000 backbone with a different pinout. The ITC-5 also connects to the gauges. So these are my uh, wind gauges and this is my autopilot gauges. Those two are connected together. Okay, this all is powered. The Raymarine SeaTalk uh, backbone has its own power, which allows it to work with the helm and also powers the ACU for the autopilot and the uh, the compass for the autopilot. So all that information comes in here to the helm. Oh, what I left out was that little connector for and a remote for the autopilot. But anyway, okay. So we go now from the Raymarine SeaTalk network to the uh, NEMA 2000 standard network. And this is just a cable that changes the pinout from one to the other. There's nothing else to it. The Raymarine network also provides the power to the NEMA 2000 uh, bus. You only want to have one power source, and this power source uh, here powers the Raymarine network, which also powers the NEMA 2000 bus. The NEMA 2000 bus has four ports on it, as you saw, and it is terminated on either end. That's what these are. And the Yamaha uh, engine, this is a Yamaha 25. It has a, uh, a cable that just converts from the Yamaha net or whatever the heck they call it to NEMA. It's an $80 cable that I got from Low Rants and plugs right in. This is the B or Albacombo, I might have misspelled, misspelled that, which is a pretty flexible device. It allows you to take any kind of analog input, uh, voltage, ohms, uh, uh, input from a shunt, all kinds of different things. I know there are a lot of people that have uh, uh, Westerbeek engines on these boats, and you could put sensors for voltage or resistance or various things on there and put that into this Alba Combi as well. So it's a very flexible device. I'm only using the uh, resistive inputs uh, from uh, standard uh, WEMA gauges and converting that into NEMA 2000. The Alba Combi is also powered from the NEMA 2000 bus. So the fourth input or output that I have from the NEMA 2000 bus goes to the 741XS, the chart plotter. <coughs> the chart plotter is capable of showing all of this information on it. I also have a uh, standard horizon VHF, which uh, in includes uh, AIS on it, AIS receive, and it is a NEMA 0183. The power that, that uh, runs the 741XS has a couple of extra leads in it that enable you to bring NEMA 0183 into that. So I show the battery here for this, also including in it the uh, 0183 information. The radar, radar has its own power once again, so now we got three different power sources, one for the radar, one for the 741, and uh, one for all of the Raymarine stuff. The radar uh, is connected via ethernet into the 741 XS. 
So that's it. It uh, looks pretty uh, complicated, but when you break it down into the components, the Raymarine network translated into NEMA 2000, the Yamaha stuff that goes into NEMA 2000, the old analog stuff that goes into NEMA 2000, and everything fed over to the 741 uh, that allows me to display all this. By the way, on these gauges up here, on the Raymarine gauges, I can actually show things like uh, uh, fuel, et, et, et cetera. So there's a lot that you can show on these gauges if you want to do that as well. I hope this is useful to you. Thank you so much.